Hello again everyone and welcome back to The Witcher 3. We are back here in Toussaint as always. And we're going to go north now to these to check out the rest of these undiscovered locations. And we are going to fight a hive of enemies by the looks of it. I'm guessing this is a monster. No, it's not a monster unless it's a bandit. Damn. Oh, shizer. Oh, come on. These guys are massacring peasants. We'll try and keep as many alive as we possibly can. I believe one of them was already killed off, but... So this is the first group, and we, 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 we dealt with the third group, so we've got another one to take care of after this, but these guys are almost there, so there we go. Got them all? Yeah. Excellent. Thank you, good sir. You would be the famous witcher, would you not? Exactly. I shall hitch my wagon and set off for the monument works at once. They await me there. Oh, so that's where they're going. Right. So they must be building a monument um, where we looked at beforehand. And that's where they're all kind of amassing to help, to help with the construction. Ah, yeah. It's getting bigger. So if we get the last, presumably, what would be the last group there, then... Um, And yeah, that will hopefully finish it off. And then everyone will be quite happy, hopefully. Really wish it didn't spawn me off, back off it uh, in, in the middle of the night, not gonna lie, but it's what it is. Alright, so we'll go to the north. Again, this might be where the last group is. It's either it's either, it's going to either be here or the or the last one to the northeast. We shall find out momentarily. Knight Aaron in distress. Save the knight Aaron! Oh my god, he's getting absolutely butchered. I can't get in. Keep yourself. Bad idea. Save the errands. Kill him, you son of a judgment! I'll do worse than that. You dare to kerfuffle me? Me? Kerfuffle you? I'll do more than kerfuffle you as well. My God. Oh, that was close. You came to my aid in the nick of time. I thank you, friend. You're quite welcome, sir. Duty as a whole suffers from a disconnect. So I'm guessing this was one. This was the Camalengo contract. Orders for Edgar Sisodoy. Sisodoy. To Edgar Sisodoy, I'm sending you to one of those miscreant knights. This particular uh, blood scrack attacked our lads near Fox Hollow. Sent six of them and one dog off to push daisies. I was about to hack him apart on the spot, then I thought this harlot's brew deserves a more thorough hacking than I can give. So use those famous scissors of yours and trim him of all protuberances and danglies, then cut out his innards and make origami. Just be sure to tie him up good before you get to work, even with his hands tied, that maggoty mutt swung so hard, teeth came pouring out of a Beulah's jaw like crowns spilling from a full pouch. Oof. Well, luckily, the, the Knight Errand did not uh, suffer that fate. We did save him. I honestly thought he was going to die really quickly with the way his health plummeted when I first got I first got there, but didn't end up being that bad, thankfully. Right, so there's one more marker here. I'm presuming this one's going to be the, um, the last group for the Lebiorda statue. Uh, we're very much into like, into like open field territory here as well. Can see quite a distance. There's like there's, there's not even any like trees or anything. So it's, just, it's, just, it's just a long plane. Could use Triss with one of the portals. Reach the world's edge. 
How is this the world's edge? It connects this way, does it not? Oh. Go, go. Very well. I'll go back around this way. Terrible. Move it. Hop over the wall, please. There we go. There, so. so that's the Leviota statue there being built, I believe. Run, Roach. Yeah, it is. Which means, likelihood is, this is the second group over here. So I'll save the game again. Yeah. The, oh, the fifth group. Oh wow, there's there's a lot more than I, than what I thought. Not good. Shit. You bitches. Can you not? I need to. I need, I need to. I desperately need to take out these archers. Take out the archers so I can just deal with the melee guys one by one. Come on. There we go. Rescue the merchants. Yeah, let's get him out of there. But why even bother? What did they hope to steal? Hammers? A hunk of stone? I see. All right. High time I set off. That was the most generic piece of dialogue I think I've actually seen from this game so far. <laughs> Use all available options for developing Corvo Bianco, so presumably all the, all the renovations are now finished. Which, yeah, given, given, the, given the amount of days that have passed purely renovating them, this, this, this monument. Not a surprise. Good stuff, though. We'll have to make sure we go back to cut to Carlo Bianco at some point. Check out the new, the, the 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 finished product, I suppose. Soon, grand unveiling. Ah, oh, it's 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 definitely going well so far. Definitely going well so far. Um, right. So now that this is all taken care of, I think we will actually go to the auction. And admire the view that we've got from this place as well, by the way. I can I, I can definitely see why this DLC was was as highly regarded as it was. Because I mean we've only touched we've only really touched on what is evidently going to be a very, very intriguing uh, plot line. And the the new um, area you get to explore as part of the DLC is Fantastic! It's beautiful as well. It's so different from um, the con. Well, it's, it, not the continent, but the uh, but the north. You know, like um, Redania and um, Valen, etc. Skellige as well. So it's a lot different from Skellige. Uh So the Prophet Lepiota statue. During the reign of Duchess Cara Berta, Toussaint was visited by a certain disciple of the Prophet Lepiota named Plegmund. His words and deed, which included miracles, were so persuasive, soon nearly the entire duchy had converted to the new faith. They crowned this outburst of religiosity with the construction of a temple dedicated to the prophet, but that was not enough for Plegmund. He convinced the duchess to build a statue of Lebiode, the likes of which the world had never seen. Well, soon that statue will be completed. We just need to find at least two more groups. Because I thought there was only going to be three, but we found the fifth, so there's, so there's at least two more. There's at least a set. I think it's the second and the fourth we need to find. Presumably there, over to the northeast somewhere. I'll oh, just scout across the map. Right. Nice shot of the moon in the distance there as well. Just over this bridge that we're coming up to should be where the auction's going to be. What is that? Is that different? 
Antoine Stragon, alias Starling. So that is probably the leader of another um, it, bandit gang. What are they called again? Hans? A Hans. Yeah, it was a Hans. It's probably going to be the leader of another Hans, so we'll have to um, find him and take him out at some point. For now, though, let's deal with this auction. Plagman's Bridge. What's significant about Plagman's Bridge? Built during the reign of Duchess Carabert, this bridge was meant to facilitate traffic between vineyards on opposite banks of the San Retour. It was named after a pilgrim quite popular in Tassan at the time, a certain disciple of the Prophet Levi Order. He on this very spot performed one of his many miracles, traversing the river without getting his feet wet. I placed the first Fair. Beware the White Terror. The White Says Terror. Great white Terror on the contract. Could be the same damn beast as in the notice, though. Interesting. Ah, what's this notice then? Rumors have been circling of late that, the, that Starling Stragon commits despicable deeds. This is vile slander, and on behalf of Stragon, we, we invite all merchants to pay a visit to our, ha to our hands at the ruins of Arth Arthak Palace. We are sure we can reach an understanding if Starling Stragon is interested in trade in a variety of branches. We await all prospective business partners. That seems suspicious. The Cockatrice Inn offers a wide variety of Nilfgaardian specialities. Try delectable hair pate, our famous crayfish soup, and grilled vegetables harvested under the Empire's sunny skies. Affordable prices, long livers, Imperial Majesty, M.I.V. Amrai, Stythwin, Adan, Incap, N.E.P. Morbut. Uh, Carnet Morbut, sorry. A dangerous avia throw up, a creature half woman, half Oriole, has been seen near the palace at night. I've spoken to several witnesses, but the Ducal Guard remains deaf to my reports. Be on your guard, this may be the beast. Magdalene Psyche. Hmm. That's weirdly ominous. Pester by pesky caterpillars devouring your vines. Don't waste calling on magic protection and rituals. The famed critter gobbling Martins of Coronata will have your problem solved in a flash. Order now and we'll give you a pair for the price of a meal. A leash, muzzle, and anti rabies concoction provided for free. Please no, Martin repellent not included. <laughs> Nowhere else can grind your grain as finely as Counter Delacroix's mill. We request all milling orders be submitted by 10 in the morning. Good luck. Uh, Vermentino vineyard workers deal their own mums, and one of them does his dar too. Bold statement. Very bold statement. <coughs> right. Check this auction then, shall we? For four generations. That is how long my family has been producing wine. Producing Plonk unfit to drink, you mean? Which is exactly why you should sell Belgat to me, not him. <clears throat> As a ducal clerk, I must look after the duchy's best interests. Belgar currently belongs to the treasury. The minister of the treasury has clearly expressed his desire that Belgard be handed over to a responsible steward. Yet, diverse troubles beset both your present holdings. Until you resolve them and thus prove yourselves competent, selling Belgard to either of you is out of the question. That's you guys told them. Well, happy? This is your fault. Mine? You're deranged, woman. Hark! Good folk! Be it known, Matilda de Vermentino is a cursed, spiteful lunatic. Jesus Christ. Doesn't look cursed to me. Just really, really angry. Ticked her off quite a bit, you have. This is a curse of the coronata so, and the Vermentino. You know, true tamer, are you? I know all about women, actually. I'm a witcher, yeah. A witcher, so no expert, I guess. But it doesn't take an expert to see when a woman's angry. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you speak the truth, brother. Wait, did you say witcher? Not seeking work, are you? Y you see, I wish to buy a vineyard, Belgard. Yet that bloody bureaucrat's not likely to sell it to me until I settle my troubles at home, at Coronata. What kind of troubles are we talking about? Ah, uh, it's botched in more ways than one. The herbarium, infested with monsters. My steward, gone missing, with an entire transport of wine. Uh, and someone's abducted my herbalist. Ah, oh. bad luck for one little vineyard. If you ask me, it's that Matilda, her handiwork. A sugar sweet face, a temper sharp as horseradish. So will you help? I don't work for free. Good look into it, but not for free. That goes without saying. 
What is your rate? Let's have a look. Oh, this is a lot of money. Okay. Uh, we'll try 800. No, in fact, we'll go a bit higher. Which we try 850. I see. That was quite a bit. I uh, would we'll do 790 then, maybe. Could you not, uh, 775. Could you not? Uh, Let's be careful. 760. Could you not? Uh, Ooh, 745. That sounds fair. Sure, I'll help. Sure sounds like work for a Witcher. Yeah, I'll help. I am really, truly grateful. Thank you. My vineyard lies east of here. You're sure to find it. Now forgive me. I must talk to that quill pusher. I might win him over yet. Very well. I shall have a look into your problems for you. I'm gonna guess that she's gonna accost me in a minute as well, yeah. She probably wants me to do the same thing to her estate, presumably. You're a witcher, yes. Like I stood there just look <laughs> gawking. Disgusting man. The worst sort. First seduces with a dashing gaze, the fair face, then reveals a coal black heart. But that's all besides the point. I stopped you because I want to buy Belgard too. Alas, things are rotten at my own vineyard, Vermentino. <sighs> Strange coincidence. No coincidence. I am certain Liam's thrown a stick in my spokes. Several sticks. My cooper and blacksmith both have mysteriously vanished. Man-eating plants have sprouted on my paths, and strange things are afoot on Pheasant Hill. Ah, the list goes on, but the crux is one. I must solve my problems at Vermentino if I'm to stand any chance of acquiring Belgard. Would you help me before you help Leon? I'm willing to pay more than he's offered you. I need to talk about my reward as well. So what did I get? 745, was it? And if I try 800 with her then? Fine. Oh my god. Settled. She, she, she really set up for that. I should have gone higher. Okay, I'll help you too then. I can help. Please try. Wonderful. You've no idea how much that means to me. My vineyard lies due west. So I'm guessing I should probably do both of them to try and do as much as possible. I must make certain Liam does not pull some. That's a hell of a flame in front of me there. Where is gotcha. that flame coming from? Well. Uh, there's, 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 there's no. Oh, that explains <laughs> it. The invisible guardsman. Right. So we have. Uh, wine was Coronata and wine was Vermentino. So wine is important, this we all know, yet into sound wine is sacred. When Geralt found himself embroiled in a dispute between two great winemaking families, represented by Matilda Vermentino and Liam de Coronata, he knew that he was treading on a shaky ground. Nonetheless, he took a side, resolving to help Liam deal with the problems of his vineyard. Or... In the Duchy of Wine, there is nothing more important than, than, than this noblest of beverages, and when two important winemaking families begin to quarrel over which would assume control of one of the Duchy's oldest vineyards, all new sparks would fly. Fully aware of the circumstances, Geralt nonetheless decides to help Matilda Vermentino deal with the troubles of her vineyard, even with his cement making Liam de Coronata his foe. So I can choose, really, but presumably I can also do both before coming back here and getting a reward, so I'll try and do both to maybe dig a bit deeper into what's going on, because they both suspect each other, but I'm going to assume it's not as simple as that. I'm going to assume someone else is throwing throwing something into, something into the works. Um, but for now, guys, we shall end this episode here, I think, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you all have enjoyed. If you have, then please do like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I shall catch you all in the next episode of The Witcher 3. Have a beautiful day, guys. Bye-bye.